No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Color Grading Central, professional color grading with Color Finale. Shutterstock, where ideas take shape. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. Big Stock, videos and images for everyone. Everybody's day three at NAB 2015, and we are here at the Tiffin booth with Jenna and Michael, and they're going to show us some awesome plugins for Premiere and Scratch and other things. Yeah, so we're going to show off uh, the video plugin for uh, Premiere. Um, yeah, we'll get right, in, right into it. Right on. It's called Tiffin DFX, and we're in our fourth version. So go ahead, Michael. Sure. All right. Cool. So this is um, some video I shot for a project uh, that I worked on recently. Um, and it's really simple. The, uh, the plugin works uh, directly with uh, Premiere like you would put any other effect in. Um, so I'll go to Video Effects and then we have these uh, um, folders down here. Um, and on this project I use the, uh, the film stock uh, effect. So I'll just throw that right in the clip. Um, we can uh, change all the parameters in uh, Premiere. The cool thing is we can go into the uh, DFX interface and uh, we have all these presets. So this is um, uh, all the uh, film stocks that uh, people have been using uh, that we can now do digitally. Um, so I'm going to go to uh, motion picture films and the one I used on this one was uh, black and white, so Eastman um, 5231. And I have full control over uh, the curves over here. I can customize it, save it to a uh, preset that I want to use later. Um, there's even a, a, a grain uh, slider down here. Um, so I can affect that if I want to. Um, and it works directly like any other effect. Uh, so I can turn it on and off, play it. Um, all right, another effect that I use on this, uh, so Tiffin is known for uh, their filters, right? Um, so uh, diffusion filter that I used was on this one was uh, Glimmer Glass. And the cool thing about this is now I can have um, a lot of control over what I want in the final image and can change it up uh, creatively. Um, so on this one I used, um, Let's see, a little bit more. All right, so now I have this um, unique look uh, that I, I could get uh, in camera, but now I can do it uh, uh, in the in post. So play that, turn it on, turn it off. Yeah, it updates immediately. So uh, in the DFX interface, um, I can go over here and you know I change some of the parameters, so I can come in here and uh, call it whatever I want, uh, Glimmer Glass One, and I can save, and it pops up right here and I can come back to that at any time. Um, I'll go up here and hit done, and it saves, so I can come back to that at any time. So this is a new thing for, for Tiffin, though. Have they even really done plugins before, or, or have they? Yeah, this is uh, version four, so we have um, all the, the filters that Tiffin is known for, uh, but we can do it digitally. Um, so that's, that's what I've been using it for. It's uh, given me a lot of room uh, in post to play with it and shoot it really raw, so I have options in the end, and it, uh, I love it. So yeah, obviously you guys are known for your um, physical filters. Um, what's the advantage or disadvantage of applying those filters in post versus in a map box? Sure, well, several advantages. For instance, if you actually captured with the filter on your yeah. lens and you didn't have enough filtration at the time of shoot, you can come back into the software and add more, which is a great benefit. Also, too, it, it takes out a lot of the guessing. Now, it's a complementary process, so if you're trying to pre-visualize what your scene's gonna look like and what glass filter you might wanna have, you have the opportunity to take a, like a still shot or a clip or something and bring it into the software and pre-visualize, so you have a lot of benefits. Plus the creative control. You know, you have a three-camera shoot, you wanna match things up, you want everything to look the same, you have a lot of control with that. Um, you can add more filters, experiment. So there's there's a lot of benefits to doing uh, filtration in post. Okay. Um, awesome. And what's the the price on the plugins? Uh, do they all come together? Are they separate? Are they a la carte? Um, okay. So we start with the uh, still versions of our software. So we have a standalone product, which is. Uh, Something you would bring your JPEGs, your TIFFs, your RAW files into. Doesn't require a host. That's $129.99. Then we have a photo plugin that plugs into uh, Photoshop, Lightroom, and Aperture. So if you have any of those on your machine, you're good to go. $149.99. The video plugin is for Final Cut, Premiere, After Effects, Avid. Uh, motion and again any of those on your machine you're good to go and then the OFX standard is for your Sony Vegas program and also your Resolve Lite and then we have a pro version of OFX which will go into your Resolve Pro 
your Assimilate Scratch and the Foundry Snook program.